Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very highly anticipated tack haul. So I've never filmed a tack haul on my channel as far as I know, so it's a new one for me, but I'm just gonna show you the bits that I have collected over the past like two weeks or so. It's quite a lot of stuff. I kind of splurged, but I'm done now. I have no more big spending really. Well, actually that's a lie. I'm looking at getting a new saddle for George, but then that is it. I do not need any more stuff for the foreseeable future. There is kind of a collection of things here from three different places. So first of all, we have stuff from TRI Equestrian. Second of all, we have stuff from the Equine Warehouse. And then thirdly, obviously the stuff from Dublin Horse Show. So I'm just gonna run through them with you guys and show you what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the stuff I got from the Equine Warehouse first. They had 15% off for the duration of the Dublin Horse Show. So I picked up a few kind of essential bits that I needed. The first two things were just side reins and a roller for lunging. I needed a new one. I've been borrowing them from people at the yard for ages. So I just wanted one of my own because I use them every time I lunge George. And then the main thing that I got from there was these stirrup leathers. So these are the Lemieux Vector Pro stirrup leathers. They are the wide ones. I will take them out of the packaging there in a second so I can show them to you. But basically, I have a pair of wide stirrup leathers from Henry James Saddlery and I've had them for years and they made such a huge difference to the pain that I get in my ankle when I'm riding. I tried loads of different stirrups and things and nothing worked and then I tried these stirrup leathers and they made a really big difference. I got them back in 2018, 2019 time and they're still on my saddle to this day. I use them every single day and unfortunately they're on their last legs. They're stretched from me using them so much and also they I use them on the same hole and um, pretty much all the time so that hole is literally about to snap so it's definitely well probably <laughs> quite dangerous to be riding in those to be honest because they could snap at any moment and they don't make them anymore I was so sad when I saw they didn't make them anymore because I just love them so much so I'm hoping that these can be the replacement for those and that they'll do the same sort of thing for me I was kind of looking at the Pravins wide stirrup leathers, but I just thought they looked very like hard and rigid. They might not actually be in person, but they're quite expensive and I just thought the leather looked very hard. So these are the stirrup leathers up close, just to let you have a look at them. And obviously they are wide stirrup leathers. So yeah, on first impressions, the leather quality doesn't feel as nice as my Henry James ones. So yeah, interested to try these out. I'll let you guys know on my Instagram how I'm getting on with them and how they compare to the other ones. But again, like, I just love my other ones so much. I wish they still made them. Next up, I got three things from TRI Equestrian. They had a huge sale on for the duration of the Dublin Horse Show and the savings were honestly unreal. There was 20% off literally across the entire store and then there was 33% off the Tesoro Vita range. There was up to 15% off their like seasonal clothing. Loads of offers. It was unreal, honestly. I could have done some serious, serious damage. I picked up three things from there. The first thing was just a drum of Karen oil, standard. I, it's already up at the yard, I'm using it. So obviously I can't show you that. And then the other two things were two clothing pieces from the Harcourt range. Now, as far as I know, this is a French brand and it is honestly stunning. All of the pieces, are just so classy and fancy looking to be honest and I've wanted something from the range for a very long time I just didn't want to splash out on something so expensive when I didn't know what the quality was going to end up being like so yeah I kind of held off and the entire hardcore range so it was all like the summer range was 50% off it was unbelievable so obviously I had to pick some stuff up so these are aimed towards like if I was going to a competition a lot of the stuff that I bought actually was because I want to compete more with George. I want to start getting out. I've got the show jumping bug completely back and I just want to get out competing as much as I can over the next while with the aim of doing the Youngster Tour next year. I don't have any like competition clothes anymore because I haven't show jumped in a very long time, years, um, only at like training shows and stuff, but not in anywhere where I had to wear the proper gear. So anyway, long story short, I wanted to pick up some stuff for competitions. So the first thing I got were these breeches. I don't remember the exact name of these breeches, but I will leave it on the screen now. They're in a light gray color, which I thought would be really nice for wearing to show. Really lovely detailing on the back and then also down the leg here. And I just thought these would be lovely to wear to shows. I'm not a huge fan of white jodhpurs, but I do have a pair that I obviously wear to shows. They were 
reduced down from around 160 to like 80 euro as far as I can remember maybe slightly less and they are such nice quality I have worn them I'm going to save them now for shows but I have worn them to the yard and they're just a really nice like stretchy material that like kind of hugs you in in all the right places but it's not like restrictive which I just yeah the material of the, these breeches is the kind of material that I want I like to wear riding leggings a lot but if I'm going to wear breeches they need to have stretch and these just have so much stretch like I'm sure you can see there they're very stretchy and that is a key element for me when I'm picking out breeches and then the second thing that I got is this jumper I did try this on for a little haul for Instagram so I'll insert a video of what it looked like on with like the show shirt and everything but this is it it's a lovely color I got it in a size medium and it was down from 70 euro to 35 euro so I thought just for um, like training shows and stuff it would be really nice to wear like even over those breeches with a show shirt underneath Sevi has joined us he's here in the background um, but next up we are on to the stuff that I got from Dublin Horse Show so the shopping wasn't up to its usual standard at the show this year and I heard a lot of complaints about it but honestly it didn't bother me because I wasn't going there looking for lots of small little bits I think it's probably due to a combination of Brexit stopping a lot of the UK brands coming over and then also a lot of the larger Irish stores haven't been there for quite a few years now anyway because of the cost. I did hear what the cost of even some of the smaller stands was and it was absolutely insane so I can understand why a lot of brands don't go they just can't justify it but either way I did pick up quite a few bits so I'm going to run through them there now. The first thing that I got was from Equi Era. It's this lovely base layer and it has the branding on the sleeve Honestly, just look at this colour. This colour is to die for. You will have seen this already if you watched my Dublin Horse Show vlog. If you didn't, pause this video, go back and watch it or watch it afterwards. I wore this on the second day of Dublin because I just loved it. The colour is just unbelievable and the quality is really, really good. It was 40 euro and honestly, it's well worth the price. That was actually, I'm pretty sure that was on offer at the show, but the prices are still really reasonable. You can look up the website. There's also a load of leggings and things there. I just chose to stick with the base layer for now. It's made of a lovely material. There's not a stretch to it. And it just sort of hugs you in in all the right places without being glued onto. Equi Era is an Irish brand and all of the products are made from like sustainable materials. So it's literally checking off all the boxes that you could possibly want in a brand. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying some more pieces from there. It's really important to support small Irish businesses and this one is definitely, I would highly recommend. The only thing that I would say is just watch the sizing. The sizing is just a little bit small. So I'm a size 10 and I'm wearing a large, but yeah, I could have worn a medium as well, but this one is a nice fit on me. So next up, I went to Taylor Equestrian and I got myself some Veritas tendon boots. I actually haven't even opened the box of these yet to have a look at them. So I got the Veritas Olympus Ventos. They're the cheapest ones that they have and they were 135 euro. I want these just to keep for shows. I have wanted a pair for ages and I thought, and when I was up there, I was like, I've money saved to splurge a little on a few bits. So I picked myself up a pair of these. Are these not just the prettiest boots you've ever seen? Like I love the color of the straps across the front and just, oh, they're just so pretty. I love them. I got these in a size medium. I really wasn't sure what size to get because George would be a large in his other tendon boots. I was talking to John, uh, John O'Regan from O'Regan Equine Services and he said 100% go for a medium. You'd want to have like a very big horse to go for a large in the Veritas boots. So just bear that in mind if you are getting a pair of these that like a standard horse would be in a medium. Next up, I went to Equi Jump. I actually only got one thing in here and honestly, I'm surprised because I could have bought the entire shop. <laughs> I just loved everything in there. They stock some really amazing brands. They have loads of Kentucky products, which I love. They stock all your CWD products. They have Ego 7 boots. They have just a really, really great product range. But I was good and I just made one purchase, which was actually quite a random purchase. And it was just this Kentucky Fly Veil, a brown one. I thought this would just be really nice for shows just to have this on with a white numna. While I was in Equijump, I did also sit in a couple of CWD saddles and there was two of them that I really, really liked. I think one was the classic model and then the other one was the Mademoiselle and they were both just lovely, really, really comfortable. So I am going to get Reese out to try a couple of saddles on George in a few weeks time. The next thing that I got was a tub of Top Spec Calmer. 
So George is obviously fed top spec. We've just changed up what he's getting fed actually. So I might do an updated feeding routine if that's something you're interested in, just let me know down below. But yeah, I, just, I was talking to Shirley at the top spec stand because it had been recommended to me by two different people to try George on a camera just to see if it would help take the edge off a little bit and help him be a little bit less anxious and everything. I did try out one. Um, which I didn't like, it just didn't really do anything for me. So I was talking to Shirley and she said, just try out the tub. If it hasn't worked by the end of the tub, obviously don't get it again. Just try it, see, it might work. A lot of people swear by this, but obviously cameras can be hit and miss and they don't work for every horse. And then the last thing I got is a pair of, what you call them, like deck shoes. I think that's what people call them. This is them. So I actually have these exact shoes already. I got them in the RDS at the Dublin Horse Show in 2019 and they're still going strong. I just wear them as my yard shoes. So they're, you know, fairly mucky and messy looking, but there's no holes or anything in them. Like they're still in very, very good condition considering the hard wearing that I give them. When I was passing and I saw that the stand was there again, I was like, right, I have to get another pair. They're only 50 euro, couldn't really go wrong. The only thing is that I'm really bad at doing the little twirly thing at the side of them. I don't know what it's called, so I always have to get someone else to do it for me. But yeah, they're honestly really, really good quality. And I just like the way the sole is brown. I'm not mad on when the sole on them is white. I just don't think it really suits me. So that was it. That's everything I picked up over the past couple of weeks. It was quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of the products or anything, then just leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to help you. If you liked this video, then don't forget to give it a like. And I do also post weekly videos, so hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see some more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.